late winter, early spring, pre-spawn, into spawn. Red is one of the most aggravating colors known to man that a fish will key in on this time of year. Big fish, fat fish, getting ready to spawn fish. For some reason, red really gets them going, and that's what we're going to be doing today. I've started with a white base. And the customer, this is a customer order, has ordered a blood craw. Now obviously, red is a great pattern for deep water, mid water, and shallow. This bait, well it runs a little bit deeper. But today, it's not so much about the pattern as it is about getting them excited on the red. Cover that real good. And we're going to do a fade on this. Get this faded up to the top. And I know, which is why I'm using this particular paint, that I have a 50-50 chance of getting the acid look on the top of this bait. So that's really what we're going to try and create. If we don't, then that's fine too. But this blood crawl is just the ticket for this time of year. We're going to add just a little bit of the magenta, the black magenta detail from Wicked. Just a few drops. And then we're going to heat set this. So we really want that deep, 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 deep red on top. We kind of want to get these eyes shaded in. There's that acid I was looking for. Look at what's happening to this. Look at how cool of an effect this is. I'm going to shoot a, a photo of a close-up of this. This is what happens, and it's, it's always been a happy mistake, but this is what happens when you run a transparent against a detail black magenta wicked. <laughs> it is the coolest pattern. Check this out. Now a lot of you guys are asking do I reduce my paints ever? I don't. One of the reasons that I don't like to is because there's there are chemical solvents and and different types of activators in these paints to begin with. A lot of times when you mix a Wicked with a transparent, especially the transparent deep reds, you get this acid wash look. And it is just, I mean, it's just the coolest type of, of pattern that you could hope for. And we're, instead of heat setting this, I'm going to let this air dry and come back. But this is a, this is a game changer right here. And I probably could do this all the way down, but look at how cool that fade is. Can you guys see that on camera? I hope the camera does it justice. Let me shoot a still of this too and insert it right here. Now this one's getting happy over here. And just to let you know that it's not just an every once in a while thing. We're gonna achieve it again on a completely different bait. This is a dinger. Actually, both of these, I think, came from, maybe, um, maybe. This is a dinger. White, opaque primer, just a Createx, plain old ordinary white, opaque Createx primer. I did allow it to dry 24 hours, so this has been on here since yesterday. Just the primer, and it's a foiled, so you can see that I have primer on the bottom, and the top, not the sides, because you really want that, that foil to show. And then, <laughs> I 
No, uh-uh, not right now. I need to change that ringer. That ringer drives me crazy. I did have the old telephone, but that that was, I don't know. I haven't found a cell phone ringtone that isn't completely annoying to me. Or that. Back to the matter at hand. Same thing we did with this. We're just going to do it in a smaller surface area. We're going to run up the top of this bait. So we have the white primer. And bring this off the table. Kind of let that fade down the sides. And then, oh my gosh, blowing me up every day. I can't get away from it. We're going to use the deep red. So we've gone from a Createx opaque white for prime. The transparent red, bright red, 5117. And now over that, we're going to lay in a deep red. My pressure is sitting around 38 right now. And this is wet on wet. So if you look at what's going on in this, and I'm getting near the end of this bottle, so we just want to, it's mixed real good, but we really don't need a whole lot to prove the point. And now, here comes the acid. It's the wicked on top of the Createx that makes this. And there it is, folks. Instant acid. How cool is that? So that, in a very short video, is how to create your acid effect on a bait. Looks really cool. Have a little bit of accenting. Same consistency. We've stayed at 38 PSI the entire time. It's a white base, dried 24 hours. Then your transparent red, orange works too. Haven't really tried it on a bunch of other colors, but we're going to, because this is just fun as all get out. I've, I've done this on several baits that are orange as well. Um, I really like doing it on the rock crawlers for those crawl patterns. Um, but this, man, you just can't beat it. And then this is the Wicked Detail Black Magenta. And what a cool effect it is. Hey fish heads, this is your tip for the day. If you're going to be adding color to a pattern with layers and any kind of fabric, mesh, or screening, the best way to make those colors pop is to lay down another layer of primer. Just real quick, doesn't have to be a big deal. Just cover it evenly. Everywhere that this is, you should cover where you can. And then, after this dries, you do a quick heat set, and then add your color. And that's really going to make the stand out. You can even feather this if you want to get more of a 3D effect. But white first over any kind of a, a mesh pattern is going to make that next color really come to life. Now for this pattern, this is a neon pumpkin seed and it's right off of my website under the square bills. The original lure has holographic foil on it. But when a customer orders a lure in a standard rattling that's not a holographic foiled, you really want to make those colors come to life. So that white is going to make the difference. It's really going to make that color jump off of the lure. So once you're laying the next color down, which in this case is going to be this metallic blue, it's a really awesome metallic blue, one of my favorites from Spectratex, you'll be able to really see that difference. And if you want to take it a step further while this is still wet, load a really deep dark blue. 
That way you'll get that 3D effect, you'll have that white underlay, and that color is really, really going to come to life, and it's going to make all the difference in the world. And let's see what we've got. Remember that little trick I showed you guys? Pull gently. You can really see that 3D imaging now in this bait and that really makes this stand out on this neon pumpkin seed even though the original bait was a foiled bait. So white underneath then lay down your color it's really going to make that pop off of the the base colors and that is your Jekyll Bates spray session quick tip of the day. Almost forgot don't heat set this let it air dry. This one's gotten happy for about an hour. This is going to sit for the rest of the day, folks. This isn't going anywhere. We're not heat setting these baits today. Just so you know, no heat set. Let this dry naturally because you'll blow it out of crazy out of proportion and it'll look really just like mud if you touch it. So just lay it, lay it back like that and let nature do the rest. Air dry. Air dry, air dry, air dry. See ya. Peace.